Sonia, thank you for being part of our interview. Yeah, right. So, Sonia, you are the chief designer of Scabolini. Where do you and your team get your inspiration from? Ok, eh, a proposito dei colori, traiamo ispirazione sicuramente da riviste di settore, nel settore della, eh, della moda e del design. Per quanto riguarda invece i materiali, l'innovazione tecnologica, abbiamo una partnership molto importante con i nostri fornitori, quindi tutto quello che viene sviluppato a livello tecnico su nuovi materiali e finiture lo prendiamo anche dall'esperienza proprio di chi collabora con noi ormai da tanti anni. Historically. The, the, the choice of certain trends or certain colors is uh, primarily taken from the fashion industry. So whatever goes on in the fashion industry is almost guaranteed to come through eventually in the furniture industry. Okay. Um, equally, there's a, there's a point where we talk to our suppliers, which also specialize in components such as doors, and they have also a, a, a way of suggesting certain designs and, and, and tones and what have you. Uh, so we also take inspiration from, from there too. Thank you. Um, today's topic is timeless classics. What do you consider as a timeless classic when it comes to the kitchen design? Sicuramente il mercato in questi ultimi anni richiede un'anta squadrata, quindi un design pulito, colori tinta unita, tonalità opache, sono cresciute tantissimo negli ultimi anni. Quindi soprattutto per quanto riguarda i colori tenui, quindi il bianco che è sempre stato uno dei best seller scavolini, ma penso anche per quanto riguarda in generale il mondo della cucina. E negli ultimi anni le tonalità scure hanno preso una quota di mercato molto importante, quindi gli antracite e le tonalità scure del nero sono diventate sicuramente un best seller. So it's a, it's a good combination between colors, tones and shapes. So we, you could talk about timeless, uh, timeless classics where you have something that is quite clean, linear, uh, of, of easy, um, uh, how can I put it, uh, accessibility in terms of uh, uh, aesthetics. Yeah. Uh, so from that, then you have something that we go back to as well with, with, with design and where it originates. So timeless classics uh, can be applied to very straight and clean doors. Uh, not many metallic combinations, just something really clean in terms of colors as well as materials. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you like to use timeless classics and if yes, why? Certamente, perché intanto sono importanti a livello di quote di mercato e poi perché le linee pulite e raffinate ci permettono combinazioni di materiali e tonalità diverse, quindi anche l'abbinamento tra Uh, grass in pie allacciati, quindi finiture legno, laccati e questo ci permette anche di offrire una proposta a livello di design molto ampia. Uh, the research behind this allows you to also combine different colors and different materials again. What, what I missed earlier was to say that certain colors became a timeless classic, like white, off-white, certain kind of lighter tones, whilst recently darker ones have become more of a fashionable choice. Yeah. Uh, in this respect, having to use also different materials like uh, wood veneer, uh, marble, stone, porcelain, expanded even further, you know, the, the, the approach of a, a style or, or yeah. identify what, in this case, Cavolini is. Yeah. So, uh, in the back we see a lift system from Bloom and I would like to ask why do you use lift system uh, called Aventros in your kitchen designs? Questa tipologia di, di apertura che vediamo alle nostre spalle permette di aprire delle ante che hanno una dimensione importante sia in larghezza che in profondità, ma di lavorare su una profondità limitata perché appunto piegandosi non arrivano di fronte a chi opera, quindi dal punto di vista ergonomico sono sicuramente un plus che l'azienda deve assolutamente avere. You, you know that there was a, a something that... <laughs> Got to do with practicality. It's got to do with practicality. Uh, but it also it looks nice because it's, uh, you know, looking at that smooth movement, the way it opens and folds, going upwards, you're saving space. It's not, of a, uh, it, it, it doesn't give you any bother. Um, it is design, but also practicality. You know, the two things should, should go together. That's, that's a very good example. I saw that you also use Mariva box in some kitchens here on the booth. Um, what is special for you about Mariva box and why do you like to implement it into your design? 
Sicuramente questa tipologia di sponda, essendo un disegno molto pulito e lineare, non invasivo, permette di valorizzare quella che è l'estetica dell'anta senza diventare predominante sul prodotto. Ma avendo tutte queste combinazioni di estetiche, perché lavoriamo sia con l'alluminio pulito che con gli inserti in vetro, permette anche comunque di dare quel tocco di, di tecnicità in più alla, anche alla cassa, quindi all'interno del mobile. Sicuramente questo. There is a point where you divide design and practicality again. So uh, in this case, we're looking at a, a, a product that is and looks uh, technical and also enhances what the rest of the design is. Uh, the choice of colors as well available for those sides, uh, whether it's aluminum or glass, helps with the rest of the design. So it enhances, for instance, a, a, a drawer front. So you concentrate on something that is Yes, nice to see, but it, you feel like it's, it's, it's um, uh, working within that function, but also you, uh, you, put, you, you direct your eyes towards yeah. the, the exterior, so yeah. the aesthetics of the actual drawer in this case. Yeah. I saw that Scavolini has um, created a subsidiary in the Asian Pacific, so I guess that the Asian market is relevant for you. Um, How do you manage uh, to get the different requirements from the European market, from the Asian markets together in your designs? Allora, da questo punto di vista non è tanto un compromesso, perché la ampissima gamma di, di proposte che Scavolini ha riesce a toccare comunque tante aree e anche tanti gusti diversi, lavorando in tutto il mondo. Tutto quello che viene creato a livello di modellistica è fatto perché possa rispondere in maniera puntuale a esigenze molto diverse tra loro. Non esiste un design specificatamente asiatico o in questo, in questo caso magari cinese che sia diverso da, da quello che comunque già proponiamo. Quindi sta nella bravura anche della rete commerciale riuscire a eh, interpretare il prodotto che abbiamo già e presentarlo e venderlo nel miglior modo a un paese che magari o comunque una zona, un'area geografica che ha delle esigenze magari diverse da quelle europee. We, we look at other markets and we understand what that market could accept or, or a welcome of our design. So it's not so much Uh, that we create something for a specific market, but yeah. living in a world that's being globalized all the time. So we, we'd like to think that a, um, a Chinese customer would appreciate Italian design. Yes, perhaps it's, it's adapted to a way that helps sales in that particular region or country. Um, however, again, there's a bit of a, you know, go back to flexibility and, and, and a Chinese customer would understand the Made in Italy product as much as we understand that they can appreciate it. Uh, perhaps there are certain variations that would help in that respect. Certain colors, certain finishes would work a lot better in a country rather than another. So, uh, but also from a technical point of view, there are things that uh, we need to comply with, and that's yeah. certifications, which we also do. For instance, we have things with, uh, um, I'll, I'll be a bit boring now, but water absor absorption for yeah. certain doors meets yeah. the highest Japanese standards. Yeah. So we can also offer that, that expertise, technical for certifications. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination, a lot of things. Okay.